Hey guys, today let's see what is circular loop reference and how to uh, resolve it or handle it in Click. Okay, so I have this uh, sample data. So I have a product dimension, the product ID, product, and I have this category field as well. And there is a category dimension which has category ID and category name. And finally, a fact, a sales fact uh, which has got the foreign keys, right? The category key uh, ID, product ID, and the sales. Now let me reload this data and let's see how it looks in the data model. So as you could see, uh, the load editor is throwing a warning, right? So it says circular uh, reference. So one or more loops have been detected, right? So unlike synthetic key, so we saw about synthetic keys in our past videos, right? So unlike synthetic keys, circular loops are a strict no. Okay, so at least synthetic keys can be handled or retained uh, through composite keys if, if really required whereas circular loops are strict no which shouldn't be retained at all because it, it's going to create multiple path right multiple association and it's going to uh, create duplicates or ambiguities in our uh, data so circular loops are a strict no and should be uh, fixed <coughs> or removed so let's see how this data model looks like okay so here, here you could see the loop is highlighted. So basically this is our fact, which is connected to two of our dimensions, category and product. So ideally, uh, this is our foreign key, which is connected to category. So any filter selection I make in category is going to uh, pass to my fact via this category ID, right? And similarly for product. So any product uh, filter I apply, it's, it should hit the fact through my product ID. So, but whereas this, relationship between this category and category is something unwanted right which, which doesn't make sense so the problem here is the way it is associated so category is associated to this fact through this category id at the same time it takes this path through this category through this product id which is not the uh, recommended one so whenever a field has got more than one path right it forms a loop and so we have to uh, resolve this by understanding the data model and the data. So looking at this, we clearly know this category dimension should be linked through two sales through this ID and product should be linked through product ID. And this loop is what should be removed, right? So let's go back to our script and let's comment this category from this product, which is not required in the product dimension. So I'll comment this out. So I have product and category. So which is more than enough for all of our filters in the UI. So any anywhere I uh, category is required, I can go with this category field. And for product, I can go with this. And both are associated to my uh, fact through the respective IDs. Okay. So let's quickly reload this. Okay, so now it looks clean. Both my dimensions are linked to my fact without any loops. Okay, so this is how uh, it should be. So basically, loop shouldn't be there. It has to be removed. But decision has to be made by understanding the data and the data model. And whatever is not required, which doesn't make uh, make sense or, or or links which are not meaningful, should be resolved. And that's how you resolve circular loop reference. And uh, similar approach can be followed. So we saw how to resolve synthetic keys. The same approach can be applied here as well as per the requirement or as per the scenario, right? So here we went with uh, commenting out this unwanted fields or we could simply alias this, qualify this, rename or, or join, concatenate, basically any approach. So as long as we remove the loop and we satisfy a requirement, we are good. But any approach can be taken, right? So, hope we are clear with the circular loop reference concept. Please do let me know in the comment section for any clarification. Thanks for watching.